Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and its wonderful feature called Smart Sharpen, or sometimes called Print Sharpening. What is it? What is the mystery behind it? Well, really not so mysterious. QImage Ultimate can simply read your image, read the sharpness of it, look at what your print is going to be, on what printer, what paper, what size print you're making, and make the adjustment so that the finished print looks as close as possible to what you have on the screen. Remember, what we do in QImage is to make our screen representation exactly what we want. Now that we've got it on the screen, the next trick is to put exactly the same thing on the paper. That's what we're going to try to do. Okay, I'm going to call your attention to this thumbnail here, lower right hand corner of the thumbnails, and I'm going to give it a click on the plus sign here to put it in the queue. And the first thing I want to show you is the rough look that this preview panel has and also the thumbnail. That's normal. QImage Ultimate takes a low resolution sample of your image and uses it for thumbnails and for the preview panel. So it's not wise to make any judgments whatsoever as, as to your print quality, sharpening, or anything using either of these two views. What we should do is double click in the middle of the preview panel and that brings us into the image editor and you can see that's a pretty clean looking image. Okay, we're going to say done and there we are ready to print. Well, let's get down to the Smart Sharpen button first. Let's see what it's all about. If I open this up and I look at the choices, I'm from 0 to 20. So 5, the default, is a pretty low setting for this. What do we need this Smart Sharpening for other than to match up so the print looks like the screen? Yes, because printers vary. Models vary. Brands vary. They're not all the same sharpness. Paper varies. Glossy paper is inherently crisper than matte paper is. So a matte paper print will not look quite as sharp as one printed on glossy, even though it's the same image. The settings you use in the driver, what quality level you choose, all these things affect the sharpness of the final print. So this default is not chiseled in stone, it's a place to start. So we take our default and you make a print on glossy paper and you say, wow, that came out just right. That's really nice. Well, now we switch over to matte paper. Okay, I'm using the Canon driver here. Let's say we switch to matte paper and we also switch to the Canon matte uh, profile to match it. And we're going to change this default here to an 8 because we're going to try the matte paper and that seems to require a little bit more smart sharpening than the glossy did. So you say to yourself, oh my goodness, am I going to have to remember all these numbers? I'm using the matte paper. What did I use last time? I can't remember. No, QImage has solved that problem a long time ago. What we do is we make our print and if we're really happy with it, we say 8 is the right number for my matte paper and for my printer and for the size print because you don't even have to change it for the size print. QImage makes the adjustment internally depending on whether you print it in 16 by 20 or a 4 by 6 or an 8 by 10. QImage makes it internally. So all you need to do is make a couple of test prints pick the number that suits you just right and then we go up here to file save okay now I've already saved it so I just want to show it to you though Matt Cannon okay like that and you say save and it will save everything it's going to save the profile it's going to save the type of paper the driver settings and it's also going to save the 8 okay as the sharpen number if I go ahead and I set this back to 5, okay, and now I go back up to File and Recall, and I find, I press the P button for Printer Setup, and I find that matte thing I saved, right, matte Canon, I click it, and say Open, that 
sharpen number went back to the 8. So you never have to remember what you did. You're going to go to recall anyway to select your matte print setup. So it's going to pick the paper for you. It's going to pick the driver settings and it'll also pick the sharpness setting for your print. So that's the way we're going to work it. Before we wrap this up, I just want to show you what this blue ball does over here. The blue ball does nothing but get you a shortcut into the printer options preferences. In other words, your preference box that you'd get to from edit and preferences, that's your shortcut. And you can see that here's your print, uh, final print sharpening. You can see where the slider is, and it's about where the 8 was in here. You can set it from in this box if you like, and you can see it went back to a 5, or just set it here, which is just as easy, wherever you like. And that's about all there is to it. It's not as difficult as it looks, and it's not as mysterious as it sounds, but it's a wonderful, wonderful feature of QImage Ultimate. We thank you very much for listening, and we'll get you next time.